To filter and create customer segments, we would have to ensure that our data is properly uploaded and mapped to the right custom fields. So let's first of all understand what custom fields are on DoubleTick. Custom fields are user-defined data fields that you can add to the DoubleTick application to capture or upload or to store specific information that is unique to your business needs. These fields allow you to tailor the data structure to match the specific requirements of your organization. You might be maintaining your data in Excel file or Google Sheets or various software applications or databases or even your ERP or CRM systems. And there is a chance that the data maintained in various systems has a slight variation in the name by which you refer to this data. For example, your Google Sheet containing new leads might have header column like lead name, lead number, lead email address, while in your CRM, the same data can be under the headers of name, number, email address. So now that you understand that the nomenclatures are different across different databases, by using custom fields in double tick, you can yourself decide what to call a particular data type like a single source of truth. You can also choose to replicate the data format of your Google Sheet or CRM. Let me take you through a quick demonstration. In this Google Sheet, we have data under the headers of full name, number, group, relationship manager, office SIM number, company email, customer email, birthday wish date, anniversary wish date, discount percentage, loyalty points, referral points, disposition, city, country, and payment status. Now that's a lot of data to maintain. Now if you want to maintain the data on double tick, similar to your Google Sheet, before we import the data, we need to create these custom fields on double tick. We will first head over to the left panel and click on settings and then we are going to click on custom contact fields. We will click on the add field button. Then we would need to give a name to the field and also define which type of field or data would be stored in this particular field. So double tick allows you four kinds of primary data types namely text, date, number, and list. Let's understand each of these data types. So a text is for all strings or alphanumeric data along with special characters or symbols, and also the most commonly used data type for storing names, email address, city, country, or other similar data. The second option that is date is used to store only dates, for example, birthday or anniversary dates, or your customer's next billing or renewal date. For your sales team agents using double tick, you can store next follow-up date or date of demo. For your finance team, you can maintain payment reminder dates. The third option that we get is a number field. As the name suggests, can only store numeric value and no other non-numeric characters will be allowed in this data type. Phone numbers, currency, amount, or any other similar type of numeric value with decimal points can be stored in a number field type. And the fourth option is a list. This is the fourth and most interesting data type which allows you to create a list or drop down with custom options in double tick. This field type can also be used to create a pick list. So let's understand each with an example. First, let's create a custom field to store email addresses. So we will give the field name as customer email. And then select the field type as text. Next, we can see on our sheet that we have the anniversary wish date. So we will create another field on double tick by clicking on the add field button and putting the field name 
as anniversary wish date and here we are going to select the field type as date and we are going to click on save and then we are going to create a field of discount percentage as you can guess this field will store numeric value as per our google sheet so we will use the field type as number and we are going to save this field as well we have already added three fields and finally we will create a drop down for our sales team to signify our sales funnel with the following lead stages so one by one i am going to add the different lead stages first of all i am going to name this particular field as lead stages and i am going to select list then i am going to create multiple drop downs like new lead not contacted leads we are going to add hot warm cold interested to buy closed won and closed lost we are going to click on add item we even have the option to rearrange these fields or at any given point of time if you want to delete or edit this field you also have that option now once we save this and head over to double tick home double tick will automatically create a ribbon view on the top so your team members can quickly switch between these lead stages isn't that amazing now if we go to any particular chat on the right hand side you will find also the drop down name as lead stage if you click on this button you have the ability to change the lead stage for example i will put this particular chat under hot lead and you can see the number quickly changing on the top ribbon as well this will make your life so much easier to track quickly filter and view chat of a particular lead stage or options that you have created now that we have created our custom field we can download our google sheet in form of excel and head over to the customer section where i'll show you how to import this particular data so we'll head over now to the customer section we'll click on the three dots and import customer from excel here we are going to select the excel file so this import is similar to the data import that we did in our video for broadcast channel we are going to select our particular sheet we are going to click on next here you can see similar to that of the data upload in broadcast channel the data gets automatically mapped or also you have the option to manually map the data the custom field that we had created right on is on the left hand side while as the data we had in our google sheet which we had downloaded in the form of excel is on the right hand side we get the option to manually map the data as well please note for the date type we need to select the date format our data in the excel file was in the format of dd mm yyyy so we are going to select dd mm yyyy and we are going to click on import and upload so once the data is successfully imported we can head over to creating our custom segments